Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the modules 4 of Python super important questions and in this uh, module we have the most repeated questions from the previous papers. Make sure you watch this video till the end and if you watch this video till the end, you can score more than 80% marks in the exam. And uh, before starting, please do like and subscribe, it helps me make more like this. So without wasting more time, let's get started. The first question is develop a program with a function named as div exponent which takes two parameters a and b. Okay, what we have to do, we have to define a function called as div exp and take two parameters a and b and return the value of c is equal to a by b okay and we have to add an assertion if a is greater than zero in the function and an exception we have to raise if b is equal to zero okay develop a suitable program which reaches the two values and from the console and call the function div exp okay first we'll define the function okay so we'll define div uh, def div exp a comma b and assert a, a is greater than zero if it is not greater than zero then it will be uh, throwing this error which is error a must be greater than zero now we'll check if b is equal to equal to zero if it is equal to zero means we'll raise our zero division error a division by zero is not allowed we'll be returning okay and this will be skipped okay so this is the uh, code and we'll be writing the main function here which is try block okay in try block we'll take the a input and we'll be taking the b input and we'll be calling a div exp with the a and b and then we'll be storing it in result and we'll be printing the result here okay and if the result has some error at that time uh, when uh, suppose if you pass uh, b as zero at that time error has come and nothing has been returned in that case exception will be uh, defined as accept assert error as a e print a e whatever the accept assertion error is there that will be printed if zero division error is this uh, ZE will be printed whatever is the message for that if value error is there then it will be printed uh, uh, error please into the valid integers okay so these are the defined uh, libraries inside the python okay zero division error value error and assertion error okay we got the second super important question we have explain the following with the file operations in the python okay copying files and folders moving files and folders and permanently deleting files files and folders let's have a look at the first one which is copying files and folders okay it's very simple here we'll be using shootil uh, library here shootil dot copy shootil dot copy two okay two different are there there is a difference okay import shootil copy a file it does not preserve the metadata metadata means the properties of file when it was created what is the name of the file and so on everything okay if you do shootil dot copy it does not preserve the metadata it will just copy the text from one part to another part if you copy a file using copy 2 it will preserve the metadata all the information and properties of the file when it was created and who created it and what are the user's permission everything will be preserved okay so if we copy in, uh, using copy dot 2 next is copying a folder okay if we use copy tree in that case we have to do it using the folder the previous one was for the files okay which we discussed shootil dot copies for the files for copying a folder we need copy tree to copy an entire directory along with its content we'll be using copy tree so source folder if we copy it will be uh, stored in the destination folder okay next is moving files and folders you want to move from one point to another point we'll be using shootil dot move both for file and a folder folder whatever the file we want to move and where we want to move it what is the folder we want to move and where we want to move it okay that is the thing that is for the moving okay next is permanently deleting deleting is remove both uh, uh, for the files it is uh, os dot remove to delete a single file for example whatever uh, the file i want to remove i'll be writing file to delete dot txt and to delete a uh, folder we'll be using rmdir okay that is for removing directory rmdir means removing directory and if you want to delete a uh, folder with contents at that time we'll be using rm tree okay shootil dot rm tree rm tree folder to delete whichever you want will be specifying here and it will permanently uh, delete the files and folders okay Moving on to the next point question, we have to explain uh, assertion and raising an exception. Okay, raising exception we have discussed above uh, only uh, in the first question, uh, the zero exception error, right? And we'll be discussing what is assertion here. Okay, assertion is used to test a condition. If the condition is true, pro program continues execution. If it is false, assertion error is raised. Okay, so assert condition error message okay so example if a uh, a will be taking as minus 5 here then we'll write a is greater than 0 that assertion it is greater than 0 no it is not false means it will raise an assertion a must be greater than 0 okay so assertion error will raise a must be greater than 0 okay Moving on to the next open question, we have briefly explained different logging levels. Logging means it will provide the detail, okay, detail of an error. So there are five levels. First is debug level, used for de uh, detailed debugging information. Info level confirms that program is running as expected. And the third is warning level. It will indicate potential issue is there that might not stop the execution, but there is an issue. Error means a serious issue that prevents some operations from completing. Critical means a severe error that may cause the program to stop. Okay, so different levels are there. If you 
see an example here import logging and we'll be writing here logging dot basic config level level is equal to logging dot debug and if it is debug means it will be printed this is a debugging message used for troubleshooting if it is info it will be printed as an info message same for warning error and critical so the expected outputs as you can see these are the outputs here okay so whatever the uh, level of the error is there based on that we will be outputting that okay logging it next is uh list out the benefits of compressing a file means zipping the file and also explain the walking uh, directory tree okay so we'll be discussing what is the compressing and the walking a directory tree benefits of compressing a file what is the benefits okay space savings if a file is compressed it will have less space we can easily transfer it okay that is easy file sharing multiple files in one archive we can have multiple files in a single point if we compress it and we can uh, put it password protected or encrypted as well that is the four advantages of uh, zipping a file next one is concept of walking a directory tree directory tree means the directory will be how a directory will be like this it will be having a subfolders here another folder here another folder and this will have another folder sub and this also be having another folder. you get the point right so walking our directory tree means what first level what is there we'll be walking and checking next we'll check in this level what is there walking and checking then we'll come here what are the folders in this level walking and checking so like that it is okay concept of walking a directory tree okay so os.walks is the function which is used directory path will uh, get the path to the directories directory name will have all the list of subdirectories file name will have all the non directory files in the directory path okay for example if we import os root directory specified as path slash to slash directory an example path is taken here now for dir path dir name and file names in os.walk root directory we are printing directory path subdirectories in the files present so directory path will be printed and the subdirectories present are subdirectory 1 and 2 and the files present in all of these directories are printed in the files list here okay so this is the expected output okay so if we have different paths here different paths and subdirectories will be printed okay. This method allows to perform actions like searching for a specific file, copying a file, deleting a file across large directory tree. So suppose that a large directory is there. I want to search some file. I don't know in which file it is. So I will check the subdirectories. If it is in this one or this one, for example, if I want to search file text four. So I'll check in subdirectory one it is there or not. It's not there. Subdirectory two it is there or not. It is there. Like that I will get instead of manually going and checking. Okay. So the tree when we uh, when we'll walk the directory tree it will be easier to perform the same thing okay we're going to the next one we have explained the difference between shootle.copy and shootle.copy tree shootle.copy is for a single file okay copying a single file from source of destination copy tree is entire directory tree will be copied including files and subdirectories parameters passed here in shootle.copy it requires source and uh, destination and shootle.copy tree requires source and destination directory okay not file directory it requires use case is copying for a single file and this is for entire directory and file handling shootle.copy the file uh, contents and uh, metadata is uh, copied and in the copy tree recursively copies files and directories within the directory and return it returns the path of the copied file it returns the path to the destination directory okay the file path is written here the uh, destination directory is returned next is error handling it raises an error if source is in the directory okay and it raises an error if source is not a directory or destination is invalid okay in both cases it will raise an error in this case only one case it will raise an error so an example for the same is shootil.copy input shootil okay copy source text to destination text copy tree okay import shootil and copy tree okay these are the examples you can write for the shootil copy and shootil copy tree next is uh, with a suitable code exam uh, explain the backing up of a folder into a zip file clearly mention the steps involved how to back up a folder okay first thing is means you have to compress the folder and back back up okay so first is import the necessary modules whichever is required for the zip file okay zipping the file and backing up define the folder and zip file name create a zip file whatever we want to uh, zip it create it after that add whatever the files you want in the zip file close the zip file that's all that is backup okay so for that two libraries are used which are the two libraries os and zip file and we will define a function backup folder to zip folder path will be specified and the zip file name which we want to uh, the zip file name to be that will be specified creating a zip file this is the code we'll be writing for creating a zip file and walk through the folder in the folder whatever i have that i have to put in the zip file so that's why i am taking each file from the files and after that i'll be putting into the file uh, path name and i'll be uh, putting it into the uh, folder where i have to zip it okay so zip f dot write file path arc name whatever is the file path where those things are present that i will be putting it into the zip file after that it is automatically closed and that is how you will do the backup for a zip file okay so example usage folder to backup my folder zip file name is backup 
dot zip so when we call the function backup folder to zip with the two parameters we'll be able to get the backup for it okay so backup for folder my folder is completed and saved as backup dot zip okay that's all for this video and please like and subscribe it helps me notice like this don't miss any of these questions and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one